So I'm gonna cut two circles out. There's uno and dos. Okay. So I need you. I need you. Okay. So I'm gonna put this off to the side because I'm gonna need that again. All right. So where is my my little paintbrush? Where's my? Oh, I do have one right here. Okay. Oh, it's got a little a bit of food coloring on it still. I thought I washed them. Okay, so I'm just gonna put instead of putting it on the cookie, I'll just put it on the back. Oh, I like that side better. I'll just do this. Put some water on the fondant. Put it on the cookie. There we go. Next cookie, next piece of fondant. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut another circle. And then while this is actually still in the circle, I'm gonna try to place this down in the middle. It looks good. And I'm gonna cut this circle out. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna see if I can just pop this right on top. Whoops, well, maybe not. <laughs> I was trying to just be quick with it and just lay it right on top of this one. Okay. I don't think this one will take too long. I don't think anyway. I'm just gonna make this a little bit deeper. All right, so here's our start of our V-Buck. Just got a little piece of um, white fondant here. I'm gonna roll this out pretty thin. I don't need a super big piece. All right, I'm gonna cut two V's out. Oops, there's one. Can we like cut this a little better here? Oh yeah, is that how you wanna act tonight? Let's clean this bottom up. Always clean your bottom up for really good edges. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but if it does, clean it up. All right. We got our V's. Get these in here in the middle I wanted to try to like bevel them a little bit but I don't think I'm gonna be able oh it's crooked hold on I need my uh, handy dandy this little tool man this thing comes in handy and I should have had it when I was moving this V because now it's like all crooked. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this was my original intention was to take the number zero, this number zero cookie cutter, because if I used a regular circle, I felt that it wouldn't be um, like the right size style. So, and I was gonna cut this straight down the middle. I got an itch. Okay, just like that. Get off of my doodad. 
Now I have scissors. These are my strictly for fondant scissors. And I was going to try to like round the edges some somehow. Just kind of cut and round them off. And just kind of round this out some. Like that. And just kind of make it and then put that is that not really eh, it's a little funky looking but I might be able to get by with it maybe I can use this to flatten this See, it like doesn't, it curves on one, whoops, it curves on one side, but doesn't like curve on the other side, because it needs to be, like that side curves a little too much. I don't know. That doesn't look very good. Let me think of something else. Okay, so I've kind of figured it out, but these don't look good. <laughs> so I'm going to take my last little bit of fondant and I'm going to put it on one more cookie. I'm going to try one more. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. That one broke. Okay, I need this one. Okay, so I'm going to roll this out. This one is gonna be pretty thin. This is all the gray fondant that I have left. Okay. All right, I think I know what I'm doing. I think. All right, so this is gonna be the bottom. This is what's gonna go on the cookie. Let me this up and stick it on. Now you don't have to use water. I said this in another video. You can use, um, you can use, uh, what's that stuff called? Roll icing, you can use frosting. However you wanna put your pieces on your, you can use chocolate. However you wanna put your pieces on your cookie is up to you. Okay, so I'm going to roll this up again, and I'm going to try to leave this pretty, pretty thick. Pretty thick. As thick as I can, but still have enough for me to cut. Okay, so I'm going to do it a little bit thinner. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of cornstarch on the top. I'm going to do a little bit thinner. Okay. I'm going to place this down. Now, before I cut my middle piece out, and you guys can't really see what I'm doing, and my apologies. Can I bring this up so you guys can see? Get over here like, whoop. Well, no, phone has other ideas. Okay. Um, this is going to be kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to get it as best as possible. See if I can zoom in some. Um, so I have this little um, ball type tool. Um, I'm not really quite sure what it is, but it comes in a Wilton kit. And so what I'm going to do is I know I need to make three. I need to make one here, one here, and one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool and I'm gonna press down and I'm gonna start making my indent. So there's one. Here's two. And this is kind of awkward. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I need more light. 
Um, and then right here is, well, that doesn't really work. Okay. Let me lift this up really quickly, turn it around, get it back in here so I can do this indent. Okay, so I got my indent, I got one, whoops, that one's a little messed up, I got two, and I have three. So, I have my three indents, okay, yes, you can see that. So now I'm going to take my cookie cutter. And I'm noticing already that I put them too close. So I'm going to have to re-roll this again and do it over. <laughs> okay, so before I start over, what I did, I'm going to lift this up really quick, is I put a guide circle in the middle. Um, and that way I know my little divots have to go here, here, and here, but not go towards the middle. I know it's going to move, and that's fine. Um, but I need some kind of guide to see where I'm going to go. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to do down here first. I'm going to do one. And then do two. Now see this one's messing up and I don't know why this time it is. One. Two. And then I'm going to do three up here. Now, I don't know if it's because I thought I rolled it the same thickness, but maybe I didn't. It's like going through to the bottom. Okay. Now, I need to see if I can get the circle cut back out where I had the original. Let's cut the circle out. Okay. We have our divots. Now this side started to go down to the mat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little tush of water around here on the edge so that way it sticks and I'm going to be super careful I'm going to use this tool right here especially to get up under where I did my um, thing at my little divot and I'm going to place this right on top and I'm going to move it all out and if you need to, put your cookie cutter in the middle so that way you have a guide so you know. And you can even put this one on the top too to get it nice and straight. Like that. And then you can take your little tool and adjust out, preferably. And not in. And then just kinda smooth it out a little bit. So now I'm going to make another V. I'm going to put the V in the middle. This is 28 minutes long, my goodness.
Okay. Right. Nope, 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 nope. Scoot over. No. There we go. I'm going to put the V here. Okay. There we go. Now. I'm done with these. Okay, so these were my trial and errors this one like i said this is my first time making this and using this technique with this um this one did, this side didn't come out so well but these two sides came out pretty good um i guess it's just getting a knack i would like to get the uh um the what you call the cutter and the stamper for it if it's possible um, I mean, I know it's possible. I've seen it. Now, something else I'm going to do really quick on here is I'm going to put some of this pearl, um, metallic pearl airbrush color. I'll shake it up real good. And I'm going to put some drops of this in this little paint pan that I use here. And then I'm going to take just the teeniest, tiniest of drips of blue. The teeniest, tiniest. Like, seriously. Like, there we go. And it's still super dark. I didn't want it, like, super duper dark. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. You guys see that? You see how that just like totally switched it up to like what I needed? Love white food coloring, okay? This is almost the color. So I used pearl and I used metallic blue and then I put white food coloring in it. And now here comes the fun part. Painting the inside of the little divots. I'm just gonna paint that. You know what I mean? So we got that painted. I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna do another coat and then I might do a little painting around the vase. 